some swifts flew by and called me to the window. So I guess this is uh, a good time to start talking about the, the truth about what I call ethereal material. One of the most important and central substitution values for Mashiach, Messiah, 358, is Hahakshama, which means the actualization. What is actually Mashiach is the ability to consciously look out onto the world and have it actualize in peace as one wills now we don't we don't give it commands to line up this way or that hello hello ba hello babies hello boys and girls um, we don't give it commands to take on definite forms. The, the creation is not our slave. It is given free reign to spontaneously appear as it will. But however it appears, it appears in peace. Hello there. Um, the animals, for instance. I don't have any pets. Hi, hi, everybody. And this is why. I want them to come of their own free will. I want them to call me. I give them a world in which they are maximally happy and free and able to carry on their lifestyles, life forms, with the least stress possible. And that's very, very, so in, in that sense, I give them a home, but I, I don't take them into my home. I let them be what they are. Um, I want you to see what this looks like and it's important for me for me for you to see this it's important to me for you to see this because um, if this were just something in my imagination it couldn't be filmed how's that so this is what I call ethereal material. Most of the religions, except for a very, very few practitioners like Thich Nhat Hanh, who understand the truth, understand that the highest heaven is not spiritual. It is material. It is ethereal, holy material that reflects God's will in actuality. That is Hahag Shema, in actuality. That is what Mashiach is. Those who think that spirituality is higher than materiality not only take people out of the world and put them in a mindset in which they will never realize HaMashiach because they're always thinking about the spiritual and leaving and dying and going somewhere else. Um, they also insult the highest heaven by, by negating it, by saying, oh, no, no, that's not good enough. We want to be spiritual. Uh, to those people, I say, uh, you know, go where you'll be happy. <laughs> you want to be spiritual, be spiritual. But you'll never find Mashiach there. Mashiach is all, only in actuality and only in the present. Another one of the important 
substitution values for Mashiach 358 is Bahoveshali, which means in my present. Anyone who, th who says to you, Mashiach is on the way any day now, any minute now, any second now, um, nonsense. They're leading you around by the nose. Um, or they themselves are led around by the nose. But uh, about Mashiach, they know nothing. Mashiach is only in the present, and in the present in which we can intentionally look out in the world and make the creation lined up, line up in endless forms of peace. Um, so my following videos will be showing you how this is done. You'll notice if you look at my videos, you'll say, hey, I can do that. I've done that. I've seen things that look like that. I've seen things that are just as beautiful as that. I've experienced peace that's just as peaceful as that. That's right. And that's what I want you to notice. Because you're already doing it. If Mashiach is already in your present. In every present in which you have looked out into the world and seen beautiful forms in peace that you have a right to. If you're living on someone else's land doing it, that's not peace. And no, I am not sitting on someone else's land. This is Israel. This is mine. When you are living on your land, and you can look out on it and see peace, that is a Mashiach. Every other understanding about Mashiach is incorrect and keeps you waiting for a future that never comes. In Hebrew, there is no such thing as the future. I'll say that again. There is no such thing as the future in Hebrew. The Hebrew word for future that's been translated as future is atid, which is the same thing as letamid, forever. So anything that's written in Torah in what appears to be the future tense is a command for that to exist forever. See, the birdies are saying it's right. Right, birdie, birdies? Who's going to come by and get a kiss? Who, who, who? She's got to slow down a little bit because I can. Why, 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 see they're all coming. I can't pucker up that fast, guys. That's the truth about Mashiach, and I'm going to be showing you more and more how to recognize that in your life, how to recognize it in yourself how to pay attention to it so that you'll see that it's always there. It's always present. Mashiach doesn't have to arrive in your present. You do. Thank you for listening.